The border is just one set of unnecessary crises being unleashed upon our people by Joe Biden and his left-wing party. Leftists, America's man-made disaster. That's our focus in today's preamble. Few Democrats are being critical at all of Joe Biden reg regime's open border. Latino communities are being decimated as we speak. Over 100,000 Americans killed last year by China's poison. Crime is off the charts. 85,000 illegal alien children have been misplaced. And the children that are accounted for are being delivered into the hands of known criminals by left-wingers in your own government. I thought I was going to help place children in loving homes. Instead, I discovered that children are being trafficked through a sophisticated network that begins with recruiting in home country, smuggling to the U.S. border, and ends when ORR delivers a child to a sponsor. Some sponsors are criminals and traffickers and members of transnational criminal organizations. Some sponsors view children as commodities and assets to be used for earning income. Mm. All of the carnage, all the sexual abuse, all of the inhumanity was foisted upon our people on purpose. This is Democrat policy. My friends, nobody is this stupid. No Democrat alive, not even Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, as vacuous and empty-headed as she is, could escape the harm these policies have done and will continue to do. That means they are doing this to the United States on purpose. In an effort to avoid another Democrat-caused crisis, the House GOP has gone to work. They have raised the debt ceiling to pay for debts already incurred, and they have put in spending reductions to tamp down future irresponsible and harmful overspending. But just as they did with the border, the Democrats are treating their elected positions like welfare, collecting their taxpayer-funded salaries and doing no work. Tomorrow will be the 100th day since I first sat down with the president on February 1st. We all know that the deadline for default is June 1st. Why are we in this situation? Because inflation Democrats added $6 trillion. They harmed every single family by bringing inflation to our country. But President Biden and Senator Schumer are stuck on no. They have no plan, no proposed savings, and no clue. Apparently, President Biden doesn't want a deal. He wants a default. Mm. Later in the show, we're going to talk with Trish Regan. She will tell you the massive harm that is coming your family's way because Chuck Schumer and Joe Biden are poised to sacrifice the full faith and credit of the United States because they couldn't be bothered to work or adhere to the constitutional role of the House of Representatives. What you all need to know is, all the harm that will be unleashed, just like the multiple border crises, was done to you on purpose by elected Democrats and their voters. But the question is why? What would cause Democrats to turn against the United States, our laws, and our people? House Oversight Chairman James Comer may have discovered the reason. Instead of being with honest with the American people, President Biden has claimed since the 2020 election that his family has not received money from China. That was a lie in 2020, and he continues to lie to the American people now. The Bidens have received millions of dollars from China. It is inconceivable that the president did not know it. He uses to correct the president's statements showing the president is now using the federal government to run interference for his families and his own role in these schemes. All right, that's right. Polling shows the majority of Americans think that Joe Biden is compromised by our communist enemy. And as we know, China has had many ways of putting money into the Biden's pockets. We know that communist China was renting office space from Joe Biden's son, Hunter, they paid him $49,910 a month, just under the amount that would raise automatic red flags in our economic system. And Democrats say with a straight face that it's a mere coincidence that documents show that Hunter Biden was paying his daddy exactly $49,910 a month for renting Joe Biden's home in Delaware. Now, the home is nice, but not worth 50 k a month in rent. Congressman Andy Biggs says communist China found other ways to grease the palms of the Bidens. For example, 
The Bidens used their associate Rob Walker to bring in millions of dollars from China and Romania. Walker's limited liability company, Robinson Walker LLC, paid Hunter, James, Halley, and others in the Biden network more than $2 million after foreign money hit his account. One third to the Bidens. That was the pattern. House committee found that foreign governments have been paying millions to the Bidens through various shell companies and other methods designed to hide from the Internal Rev Revenue Service and we, the American people, the vast wealth they were building from foreigners dumping money into their accounts. Congressman Byron Donald says there's only one reason why anybody creates a shell company. And as somebody who actually worked in banking, I did that long before I came here, when there was like this many companies just laying all over the place, and you see wire transfers and cashier checks over here going to random members of the family for no apparent purpose at the size and velocity at which all of this was being conducted, the only logical conclusion of a financial professional is you are concealing money. Let me restate that. Hmm. Hmm. Concealing money. You know, nothing says transparency and above board like 20 shell companies moving around foreign cash into accounts owned by a dozen of the Biden's family members. And for no apparent reason. Although, you know, it is plausible that Xi Jinping might be looking to produce porno videos in the future. That might justify some of the payments to Joe Biden's son. Now, if you're a member of the press or a Democrat, one of the same, really, you're, you're on social media today and in your circles claiming that foreign governments... They just throw around money to Americans for no reason all the time. It happens every day. You say there's nothing to see here. Ironically, these, these are the same people that lit up President Trump for selling ties for a short time that were made in China. But the rest of America, well, we, we know that you just don't walk around with their heads up their nearest orifices. They know that foreign governments just don't go out there to other countries and give citizens of those countries millions of dollars for no reason. Sane people know that when you pay millions of dollars, you're expecting to get value for that. So what do our enemies get for their payments to the Bidens, the leaders of the Democrats? Well, 65 Democrats did vote to thwart GOP efforts to investigate the malign activities of communist China, but I don't think it stops there, kids. Joe Biden has made sure that an illegal alien superhighway full of illegal guns, China fentanyl, and bloodthirsty gangs is up and running. The Democrats have spiked inflation, weakened our economy, and now threaten a default that will be the final blow bringing America to its knees. All of these attacks launched from within. So far, Joe Biden and his regime have let in 6.7 million illegal aliens. 1.7 of those illegal aliens are known gotaways. That means we have no idea who they are or why they are here. Now, if that trend holds, Joe Biden and the Democrats will usher in over 15 million illegal aliens into the U.S. by the end of his first four years. That means we're looking at close to 4 million gotaways in that time. Tell me. How many of those millions are or will be trained foreign military from China, Mother Russia, or Iran? Do you know? Guess what? Your elected leaders don't know either. Did the millions of dollars foreign governments pay to the Bidens pave the way for his open border policy that is ordering Border Patrol to release illegal aliens into the United States with no court dates and no means to track them? Even though a Florida judge has put the agenda on hold temporarily, it is a fair question to ask. Who are the people the Democrats are letting into our country? Consider this. At the end of last year, an unknown number of people shot up a substation in North Carolina, putting 40,000 people in the dark. What could hundreds of thousands of trained military personnel armed by the narco-terrorists do to our people? Sadly, there are not many people out there asking these questions even those who should be asking these questions, like Republicans. Instead, Surrender Caucus Senate Republicans are doing something very different. Polling shows that Americans have rejected Joe Biden and the Democrats' America last agenda. The only people voting to support that agenda are 18 Senate Republicans. They voted to fund all of Joe Biden's illegality that you're seeing right now before your very eyes. To these turncoats, I ask a very simple question.
Doesn't Joe Biden have enough money from foreign sources? Why did you feel compelled to give him our money to finance his barbarous assault on the rule of law and our people?